what are your biggest priorities for domestic reform? A couple of years ago, we have launched new reforms, and those reforms are basically targeting different fields. You will find reforms in the social area, like health, like uh, education, like um, housing, and uh, th the main goal in the coming years is to accelerate those reforms. Build more houses, make sure that people are more, you know, better educated, make sure that they are better, uh, in, better in better health. And uh, that's why, for example, you will see new laws to promote um, cheaper drugs, new laws to promote or to, to give more coverage, uh, new uh, reforms to make sure that we build more schools all over Morocco so that the rural areas are also covered so that you know, girls go more to school. And this is very important. But we have also reforms in the political field where basically we want to make sure that we can build on a, we can build a stronger democracy as we go forward. We need to have a new code for uh, you know, the press. We need to be, have a new code for elections. So this is happening and it will accelerate in the future. And for sure, the, the, the last but not least, this, the, economics, the economic field. Here in the economic field, uh, we, as, as I explained, we have this the sectorial strategies. And the challenge here is not about vision. We do have the vision today. We know exactly, for example, industries, what are the Morocco global sectors. We know that we have a competitive advantage in automotive, in aeronautics, in electronics, in offshoring, in textile, in agro-industry. But how fast we can implement all those measures that will make those sectors really vibrant. So this is really a challenge, and that's the challenge that you will find in other sectors like tourism, like agriculture, like, like energy.